This video discusses the evolution of cephalopod morphology. Can you imagine being able to taste ice cream with your hands? Octopuses can do this. The suckers at the end of their eight arms are specialized and can taste prey. This can help the octopus determine if the prey is worth eating in the first place. As well as taste, octopuses can also smell with the end of their arms. Their eyes have evolved to let in various amounts of light and it is possible that their sight is what controls their ability to change color. They can even sense light using only their skin. Octopuses are part of a larger class of organisms, cephalopoda. This class includes not only octopuses, but also squid and cuttlefish. These organisms have evolved specialized sensors that help them thrive in their underwater environment. Now for a short science lesson. All living organisms are made up of cells. Those cells contain a nucleus. Within that nucleus, there are pairs of chromosomes. Chromosomes contain gene sequences made up of DNA. These sequences are what tell the next cell exactly how to develop. Recently, it has been discovered that the genes that code for specialized cells in cephalopod sense organs have evolved by increasing the number of times they repeat in an area, not by evolving the gene sequence itself. This means that specialized cells are localized to specific areas of the organism, such as the ends of its arms or its head. To explain this in another way, imagine that a gene sequence is like a cookie recipe. Each recipe can only make a certain number of cookies. Now, if you duplicate that recipe, you can make even more cookies in the same amount of time. The repeating gene sequences in cephalopods are like this recipe, and the specialized cells are the cookies. As the gene sequences are repeated again and again, the number of specialized cells increases. Now back to the ice cream. The concentrations of specialized cells that make up cephalopod sensors are what could allow an octopus to determine, just from touch, that an ice cream cone is not a rotten fish. <laughs>